Welcome to Second Generation IT Group. Hello, my name is Ferdinand Asamoah, Director of Second Generation IT Group. We've been in business for the past five years, and we have a lot of clients who have come through the school and they're doing pretty well. We offer 18 weeks off cyber course, which runs for every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And people ask, why Second Generation IT Group? different courses in cyber. Cyber is currently big, so we offer uh, risk management, we offer FISCOM, we offer cloud computing, we offer pin testing, and we also offer Splunk. Courses are offered virtually. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can just join the course without it. It's very convenient for everybody. You can reach us uh, on our social media, you can reach us on Facebook, you can reach us on Instagram, and you can also reach us on our website, which is uh, Second Edition IT Group LLC.com. The company that provides beyond excellence. Living in Ghana, abroad, a first time of visiting Ghana, or a company wondering where to get quality service providers in Ghana for any job, then Ejumapa On Demand Services is here to assist you. Ejumapa On Demand Services connects requesters and service providers such as masons, plumbers, electricians, auto repairers, home and office cleaners, trash collectors, rent agents, spa attendants, roofers, beauticians, teachers, CCTV installers, and all artisans on one platform. Yes, one platform. Trust Ejumapa On Demand Services to sort you out any day, anywhere, and at any time. To download the app, please visit the App Store and Play Store or visit our website www.ejumapa.com. Hey, Debus, you are for me, Mama Kwa about SBTV Africa. So, thank God it's Friday. Time is here, 5 30. I see, I bought 5 35. But only say Fridays, Biano, yeah, 5 30, Biano, 5 30 to 7, GMT to 7, no. Um, and then air lawyer wisdom akaho wise man solicitors or being full and then no eba show no so may a boy man for send a bea um um rano um um send a bea opus over co uk send a bea oh uk hosswa and yame so a fat immigration ha or the fella in your abramo live on svtv africa sasuni and mamo a queen or aswa who be sending questions into comment section where your questions are maybe sell lawyer no Aha, yeah, you can come away, you can come on, and baby son of Schengen, and baby son of America, Canada, or Nim Canada, America. Who be said anything concerning UK and the dear of a more run down in your ain't he? Eh, more you look sharp. Now move for questions, Emra, more will be a person will be sana, comment section or share link in a moon, maybe invite to nearby, no, no, so much join SVTV Africa. Yeah, yeah, live. Ewo Facebook so SVTV Africa page. So as soon as you live, wo main channel no SVTV Africa. Ewo DJ nyame for a drink, bro. Ma min straight. Na me ne lawyer, lawyer wisdom akao wise man solicitors or a heavy pa. Lawyer, where's your lawyer? Yo, Efo. Eh, eh, my phone. How Efo? Oh, lawyer. Uh, last week, you know, you into me in Shia. Last week, you into me in Shia. I'm so come around the call off. So, yes, I will come around the call off. Last week, you know, last week, you into me in Shia. What baby did? I hope say more fire and then the fire and be different. In see, and then also then they see updates by number of UK and then move be man now because you see, I know a man for China no move to your airport. No, your airport no, I hear a choke. Hey, Ghana, I don't see this country before. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, we more about 
Hey, yeah. Lawyer, it's here too. Yo, we don't see. Yes, it's here for, sorry, last week or so, yeah, to me, I'm back because of uh, some other commitments. You see, so Ufo Edoso, so Unya Embre Matnina, and also with Juma Doso, as I said, Ufo Embre Matnina, and tonight, Ejumani Dianso, and not here, you know. Uh, and to, uh, the radiance is and so or the young Abba Abisha and uh, Ray. Interesting, did you say you will kind of um, me whole video be recently about the amount or the number of people who were leaving Ghana to go out of the country? Uh, it's a bit concerning, but remember, so the same way now, Mount Ponsu ever Ghana. So, uh, the yeah. people are going out and nobody is coming in. So it is but the rates no difference wom. Exchanging difference wom. The net migration, no matter. And I said, who could do? Who could do moving pick hotel? Be via UK phone crampo yet biometric application. Ewohoa. So we check you now. It is very very concerned. The last time now we buy a DJ. I uh, may call her just to say hello to uh, one or two people that I happen to uh, be associated with. I was shocked, DJ. I was shocked. The line, it was so long. And maybe some of them said, wow. So all these people are looking for an exit strategy out of the country. home office for Roman Yani yeah. Nigeria for when you escape for your upper every day, Saki when you are Saki when you are more GMF, more GMF, sir, and yes, more money. And yes, yeah, more money, a lot of money. And to say, I want my mother to go to Mbua. The visa fees in is itself is, is more than enough. That to... is a lot of money. She will check you, Nipa, every day, be on with your visa fee, visa fee, visa fee, near a cop. This is only UK. Go to Germany, go to US, go to Canada, go to the other embassies. You realize that there is a desperation to exit. To, there is an exodus kind of thing. Ah, I am very concerning. But we hope and pray that Things would take a better shape. Uh, yes, a uh, uh, system in uh, identity. Obi are controlling the team. Kano, you won't travel. Yeah. And then Obi Oha for some years. No, no. Me, me, me. Say, I said 2019. We say we buy, we buy UK. You call moving people. Me, who you be there? Say, you endorse. You endorse. And endorse. 2021. Kano, and then endorse. Okay, then endorse. Kaka, but. And also be up, but this time, no. Hey, <laughs> hey serious, DJ. Hey, very serious. Um, but we can only hope and pray hey. and expect that um, things will fall in place so that the brilliance, the brilliant guys, the brains are and can we, they are all living Canada, USA, UK, uh, everywhere, going everywhere, and it's becoming pretty concerning. Anyway, and as a lawyer, lawyer, same way, I am touching a cross, sir. And you are not going to be a man for you, Juma, then Juma, or now you create your own job, scramp on here, you need a sika. I want to be to quiet because over to quiet, I could have visited no one. Exactly, and they're open for holidays. Now, uh, because I'm because oh, any business be or any idea where we're school, and you might hear or any sick, be a bit me because oh, make a holiday in my back because Uncle Sam was shy, say, I feel no cost that's it. Be into any we be a baby, no job, no day. Imagine says, oh, be you might channel five hundred Ghana, seven hundred Ghana, three hundred Ghana, four hundred Ghana. Now, Obeka to us or Bruni Kruma. Okay, cleaning, cleaning, crowd, you only five hundred pounds, crowd, okay. Of course, of course. Um, this is not what we are discussing, but it's it's become essential now. Um, Tisonia will be our OG five hundred Ghana a month, and let's even say a thousand Ghana a month. Are you? Did are you sure we could take five 
500 Ghana a month? Mother, <laughs> Mother, I know you, you don't know what they go on. Yet here, a month of 500 Ghana, 600 Ghana. Now, I make my kind of several times of show me and go for me on my interview. Say, and you say, you're 1600 Ghana. 600 Ghana, and you're a child. That means a day and you're a day only 20 Ghana. Crana, there's only me say, you don't try like you don't try. And you're going to be a chocolate, or be a chocolate, something 200 cities. Wow. Eh? It is a Utsia Obisea. Lawyer, on a serious note, sometimes, you know. And yes, eh, eh, I'm not going to use it. Okay, we have a chance to find the idea. But, me, me, Kase, send it on your hand, you will boost him. And I say, okay, me, you saw where that means you broke, meaning where that means you. So, Pima, and then, for now, you are going to find. Me, the main support, you know, I'm more of your business. I'm going to see how to move property, say, me, Kako, start to be, you know. And no dear means support him. But be out here the two hundred five hundred niya dear lawyer. Obey the no niya connection be ano because of the phone call. Eh, we are. We move on in a Romania niya dear. We move stranded Romania. Just so we're so free Ghana. Why? Yeah, I mean, me me nim say well, I might say the salary is about two hundred five hundred Ghana dear. I think that is now. <laughs> anyway. Let's not get there. Uh, let me do my law uh, and, and go away, please. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I'm in your hand. I can't see a count here. Can't be a open anchor. My first phone call, sir. Now, come in my phone call. That man for almost low income. No one can draw because my name of my home will be a my home will be a na or yeah, cleaning, cleaning na or yeah, or buy yeah, or buy UK hat na. Only crash up, but now see or you can no longer cry the share in Yama. And she will buy me ho. I mean, some time ago, and uh, me share any uh, paste up the pay slips. Um, interestingly, now maybe our age man almost the only one thing and a share her because the employer was okay with with using that. And in the year, will be only. Way for ah uh, or kind of like that. in a year he earned over twenty five thousand pounds. Well, you are a year over twenty five thousand pounds for the year. Well, and see, uh, naturally, so Peter Zenia will kind of say, Oh, fear not on your train yet, not set or two will do, and not even twenty thousand, fifteen thousand pounds. I mean, obviously, I mean, uh, so. He, he goes to but I mean, I did so much. My dream, so may I be my come harder? Yes, system no, yeah, copy mo. You be beyond your copy mo. Now, and then the basic are seven dia and only young copy mo. Maybe so I said, I'm for your dream for you. Yeah, copy me be our bro for you. Be a while, you'll be a see a copy mo. But and bano our young fear and go visit Ghana, yeah, my Obi and one am I ten CD po? Would they one ah ten CD? Eight hours no be any eight Ghana. Me be catch up before we bring to coin. Say a month, no say eight Ghana a day. Now times seven times one month ah. Mm -hmm. Obeko close to two thousand something. That means any a crown no. Me before we bring to coin. Yeah. Now I know there. I don't know what Colombia is like. Yes, I come from Monaco, Europe. I'm here. Oh, America. I'm here. Oh, Canada. I'm here. Oh, UK. Yeah. Now then, I'm here. Yes, I come from Nigeria. Everybody is casual. Then, 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 I don't know, sir. Seriousness, now we monitor company owner, owner, so the monitor workers, no. So no more one hour ten CD. I'm not saying monitor mo serious. We have to take it, man, serious. No more briefing space. Yes. Because them say at the end of them day, no OG eight Ghana. It's not so bad. Serious. We also do, we do also do for time in in the agro. We do for what phone in corner on chatty chatty. Because we them say it's serious business now, you know. Not in a sick assembly, yeah, 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 and no, a uh, very good point. But you see, now, uh, DJ, um, the economy, the resilience of the economy, how strong the economy is. One Ghana city is equal to nothing. 
one pound is equal to how many cities? Look at that. And so that the 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 economy also counts. And uh, of course, where the young call anyway. Say, but everything concerns everybody. Say, yeah, you organize it concerns me, yeah, and who you organize it affects me. So we can also just have our opinions on this. Say, private sector is not a year um, digitized. You clock in to show, to show when you started work. You clock out mm. to show when you mm. left. You are given specific amount of work to do. You are quantified according to the number of hours you do. People will be serious. This is your work mm. Year later, you clock in and it shows the time I was at Ijima. But if there is no clock in system or clock out system, people work in leisurely and work out leisurely because only we say at the end of the month, he's still going to take his X amount of cities. Mm. And the private sectors can introduce that into the system to give it some seriousness. To give it some strictness, a honor supervision, but a honor, we are lazy one, two, three. I'm our first one, and second one, and third one. You are out of the door. A honor, everything, but say, I are buying this, so we are all just doing it. And that is one reason why. Oh, sir, oh, sir, Mumu Hono, private sector, Sunday, Katie, in Yumano. Very powerful. I buy, I buy in the end of the day, or endorse police. What do you need a police need a nurse hospital? <laughs> yes, the nurses, know. doctors, police, uh, the uh, other sectors, the civil servants. Yeah, fire, fire service near yeah, there. Those places, yes. But, but the rest, you know, are private sectors now setting up. And they're driving the economy, that's true. Now, you say, no, minimum wage, I mark you, be as at Minoka, you know, say, a 14 point, a very 15 CD the whole day. No, you can't say, I'll be for say, oh. Anyway, sir, you you have the chance to speak to the politicians. Sir, the way you oh, talk media, about media, 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 reality from this and, yes, yes, and 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 media, media. politics, whether party A, party B, if we change some things, make the country, you know, we say you to me, you lazy. Sadly, I'm a canoe. I agree, they're not, not hard work. And yes, sir, I don't know, we are lazy. I'm a bad brochure. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be under my beard. They've got a prior crisis in me. Me, you're my boys, my dollars, my pounds. On them will be a baby. Anyway, anyway, uh, DJ, uh, 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 topic. My part, uh, the listeners are chosen, yeah, the, yeah, the other parties are from, but actually, it's supposed to be important. Not. Important, <laughs> comments no? I'm here because I know so boy, and I know so kind of move out too fast. It's serious. It's very, very, <laughs> very point. serious. Um, look, remember an example of my my own sibling. Ah, nah, there's some issues we are dealing with. And as I said, Okoho, some medical person. And you see, we have 4,000 pounds, uh, cities every two to three weeks. 4,000 cities every two to three weeks for a mm. kind of medical attention. Now, the question is, say na orji, and how is this person? We don't have the free healthcare system in Ghana. Say na orji, and Sana will get 4,000 cities every two to three weeks. So, this are the systems for share or share left right now, yeah, yeah, or find about no chance beer. Of course. They will leave, and these are people who can produce to drive the economy. But we keep praying and hoping that the right things will be put in place. And they will anyway, um, updates what's new? UK immigration law, what's new? What is new? And therefore, um, it's been a while, a uh, few changes have come. So, we'll share the VIA from the HC House of Commons 1780. House of Common Changes, of uh, Statement of Changes. And we have said, government in the area is a very good Now, we have to to Parliament, and then they will go through and approve it, and it becomes uh, the law or the prince or the policies. And now we 1780HC, House of Commons HC 1780. Ah, about just a few days ago, almost the very interesting changes the ABBA. 
and then see everyone what's new what is new in the uk immigration law number one you'll be applying at to her ama prison officers and i will be a crime prison officers firstly i'm with the health and care for nearby doctors nurses teachers and from the doctors and nurses no i'm with the court teachers as so science and math teachers language teachers i'm with the about also so all you have to do is get and get a sponsor who will be able to apply for you to come to the uk so as for the help and care, they'll be brave about you can a lot have come to the uk and it's still continuing even though some of the restrictions be able to they are still coming uh, on the basis of direct employments if the employer um, uh, gives you employment directly then they are able to come to the uk still to work in the health and care sector healthcare sector <clears throat> then it went to teachers teachers like i mentioned you can also come if you have a sponsor and you have the license from the home office you are able to come and work in the uk as well as a teacher and then number three almost construction workers and so everybody i'm on my parents are construction workers with me about uh, uh masons bricklayers tilers roofers and all the people who work in the uh the construction industry and also government not be a say on but to me about about man but you always need uh, a sponsor who will then apply for you to come to work. Wait, and a few days ago, almost any other teacher said they are giving prison officers, prison officers, in other words, they're from warders, warders, and uh, uh, yeah, warders, prison warders, you have among prison officers the chance to also come and work in the UK. Uh, again, when it kicks start it means you will need a sponsor so you can apply to the prison there are so many prisons in the uk hmp so so and so hmp ones what hmp uh different places so just go on and say hmp her majesty's prisons or his majesty's prisons in the uk his majesty's prisons in the uk it used to be her majesty but now we have a king so it is his majesty's prisons in the uk and then you all the prisons no amount if you are a prison officer you can then liaise or write to these prisons to see if they have the sponsorship license from the home office and if they have vacancies first of all if they have the vacancy secondly if they have the license then you can apply to them they will give you a job over to me at the that cos no visa now we have a uk to work as a prison officer i don't have contact with the prisons i don't but i can direct you by saying go on to google and enter h m p his majesty's prisons in the uk and that will give you a list of all the prisons that are in the uk and then you can liaise with them, communicate with them, call them or email them and ask if they have the sponsorship license and also if they have the, if they can issue a COS, another certificate of sponsorship. Then with that, you are able to apply for a job and come to the UK to work as a prison officer. This is strictly for prison officers. So if you are not a prison officer, you will not fall within that category. You won't fall within that category. But if you're a, a construction worker, it's a wide range of construction workers. That is, like I said, builders, painters, bricklayers, tilers, uh, plastering, uh, roofers, carpenters. It's a wide range. And certainly with this, you can come to the UK and work in your craft it will be better than maybe doing nothing back at home if you have nothing doing uh, or if you are not fully engaged or employed if you have that skill then of course you can come to the uk to work in the uk so that is one prison officers good for you very soon the options will be open that you can apply to come to the uk to work number two update number two update near sir yeah sir sir we talked about 
GU nationals and their family members, and Omoyama on five years pre-settled status. Now, sir, Obano and you above 21 years old. Not sir. You have five years limited leave to remain or pre-settled. I already buy it and I'll buy it It is expected, sir, if the child or the parent or obviously the adult dependent relative is more than 21 years, as I said with Chen Yamami, you know, the first one here, relationship, and the second one is dependency. Relationship and dependency. Relationship, dependency. Relationship is how are you related to the EU national or how is the EU national related to you? If it's your child that is more than 21 years old, that is birth certificate, DNA, baptismal certificate, in addition to birth certificate and DNAs, will show the relationship between you and your child or you and your parent. That is relationship. Then you also have to prove dependency. Now, if the child is under 21 years old, you don't have to show dependency because it is natural and it is reasonable to expect that a parent will be responsible for the child that is under 21 years under the UK law, under the EU law, Appendix EU. Under the UK law, it is 18 years. Under the EU law, it is 21 years. Now, so we ban a year more than 21 years, then you have to show dependency in addition to relationship. What shows that the child is dependent on you? What shows, example, money transfer? In the USA, in the we want all that list of the money transfer receipts. If it, the more you have, the stronger your argument. I actually said you are actually able or you support this child. If you bring me one or two money transfer receipts, I will not do it because it is not enough. How can you show with only two money transfer receipts? five money transfer receipts, 10 money transfer receipts, 20 money transfer receipts that you've been looking after this person for the past 10, 15, or 18 years, or even less. <clears throat> we want a lot more of evidence to support the fact that you are truly the person who is looking after the, your parents, your mother, your father, your grandparents, or your child that is more than eight, 21 years. So we need a lot of money transfer receipts. <clears throat> If you were in Italy, Germany, Holland, Portugal, Spain, and you used to send money, and you are not in the UK, if you can get those money transfer receipts that you were sending money to the person in Ghana, plus the ones that you have been sending since you came to the UK, that makes your case very strong. Now, the point I'm driving at is this. Say about Obano and our papa two and a half years, sorry, five years based on the EU settlement scheme. It is expected that they should still remain with you or they should be dependent on you for the full five years. Now the argument is one of my five years, one of my six now. And by the sign, I will say I should still continue to depend on my father or my mother or my uncle or my auntie. It doesn't add up. That is why you gave me the right to work. So if I am working, you don't expect me to still be dependent on my father. Now we Anna Emran Asisa, home office for sec, say more five years based on the fact that you are a family member of an EU national and they gave you five years pre-settlement and they have already seen evidence of dependency you do not need to show another dependency when you are going for your indefinite leave to remain, which is excellent. So when you finish your five years and you're going for indefinite, you do not have to show dependency anymore. Very excellent. I will say it again because this has created a lot of problems between parents and their children. A lot of parents have issues with their children because once they brought them, the children have started making money. They don't want to know about their parents anymore. They don't want to contribute anything to pay the rent because they also have family to look after and it has created a lot of friction in families. So the father or the mother will say, okay, I don't want you here anymore. Go out of the house. Then after five years, they are stranded. But with this change that has come, you do not need to provide any evidence of dependency 
anymore. So it is good for the children or the parents who are in the UK on the basis of five years free settled status. Five years free settled status. You don't have to show any proof of dependency <clears throat> anymore. So that is an excellent news. That is new in the UK. Now, another proof, another change is long residence. Now, some time back, people who used to come to the UK in and out could count the period of uh, immigration bail. Maybe they were in the UK, Omonia, Sitna, and then they were encountered by the Home Office and said they should be reporting. There was a period where you could count that period of reporting as part of being in the UK legally. And now, even if you were on a visit visa, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, those periods at the point could be counted as valid leave to be in the UK. Or if you were on a short term student visa, short term student visa, maybe you came for nine months student visa, that period could also be counted as part of your local residence if things change later. But now the rules have changed. The rules have actually, they are changing from in a few days to say that these rules, this period can no longer be counted as periods of being in the UK lawfully towards your law residence. Those periods, they would not count them as being in the UK as lawful residents. So if you are a short visitor, you come and visit and go, visit and go, you cannot say those times you spent here should count towards your long residence in the UK for 10 years. That would not work anymore. And if you were actually on a short term student visa, nine months, eight months or so, that period would also not count anymore as a, a period towards your long residence in the UK, lawful residence. So the rules were amended in April 2023, uh, 2023, I'm sorry. So these definitions of lawful residence has changed to exclude part time spent in the UK on immigration bill, short term student visa, uh, visit visa, and uh, seasonal workers. If you came to pick fruits or pick to pick tomatoes or anything like that, to pick potatoes and stuff like that, those periods will no longer count as part of your long residence in the UK. So that is also new. Good. Another very important change. We have talked about this already, but I will say it again. It is called Electronic Travel Authorization, ETA, E-T-A, E-T-A. America, here in America, we they have a system called ESTA. E-S-T-A, Electronic Systems Travel Authorization. E-S-T-A, ESTA, Electronic Systems Travel Authorization. So in America here, that is what it is called. But in the UK, it is changed to ETA, E-T-A. They've taken the S out of it. They don't want it to be the same as the US one, where it is ESTA, ESTA. So the UK is ETA, and the US is ESTA. So electronic travel operator is required by certain visa-free countries. So for UK, there are some countries that do not need to obtain visa before to come to the UK. Certain countries do not need visa to come to the UK. They could just pick their passport and then come to the UK, buy their ticket and come. Now, what they are saying is this. Yes, even though you do not need visa to come to the UK, you still have to register you have to apply for something called electronic travel authorization. They want to check your records, your criminal records, whether you are clean or you have issues, whether you're a, ter a terrorist or you have some terrorist associations or affiliations. So that is to make the checks before the person travels. It's called ETA. Now this is, um, you, now one thing they have said is they cannot use the IHS. So maybe if somebody from Barbados came to the UK, maybe they didn't need a visa, they came to the UK and they used the NHS and they have been invoiced more than 500 pounds and they did not pay that 500 pounds. If they go back and want to come back, the Home Office is saying you cannot use the fact that they used the NHS and didn't pay against them. You cannot use that to refuse them to, to refuse their ETA. 
Uh, however, if the persons get to the airport, they can use that to refuse an entry to the UK. So it is always advisable that if you have ever used the NHS, you got a treatment at the NHS and you've been invoiced and you have not paid, I would advise you to please make arrangements towards payment. Even if you cannot pay everything upfront or straight away, it is always good to be seen to be making some payments. Even if it is 10 pounds a month, 20 pounds a month, 50 pounds a month, please make that commitment with the NHS. Now, as long as you're paying, it would not affect your ability to come to the UK. Otherwise, they may not refuse your ETA, but you get to the port of entry and you will be refused entry. So this is for people who are visa-free from visa-free countries, but you have to apply for the ETA before you travel to the UK. So that is also something of importance. I thought I should let my people know. Another thing that is new is the government is creating appendix children. Now, there are forms, different types of forms, different types of laws. We have appendix FM, appendix EU, different, different appendices to the law, to the immigration rules, to the Immigration Act. Now, what it says is that they can create a certain division for people. You have students, appendices, we have adult dependent relatives, all this comes under different appendices. Now, what they are saying here is they are going to create a separate appendix for children. So children's application will come under a separate appendix. This new appendix to the immigration rules, it will apply to children apply on their own right as dependent of main applicant. Details will be made known and it will be effective from the 5th of October 2023. So they are going to create a special appendix for children. So when you are a child and you want to make an application on your own, for whatever reason, you have to apply under that appendix. That appendix. And it will take effect from the 5th of October. We are waiting for more details as to what will happen, and then we will take it from there. As soon as there is a change, we would let you know. We will let you know. So that is, uh, those are a few updates for you. Maybe one more thing is appendix um, tuberculosis. Appendix tuberculosis. That is, if somebody is coming to the UK for more than six months, maybe you're coming to join your spouse, your husband, your wife, or your uh, fiance or fiance, or you're coming to join your parents, you have to provide uh, a tuberculosis test. Now they are creating appendix tuberculosis. Uh, they will be replaced with new appendixes and we, we are waiting to see what the details will also be. Then we have talked about the prison officers already. And there's another one called Appendix English. So they are creating so many appendixes to the immigration rules. Appendix English. Now, it's expected set on the English language test, and I'm not sure English language test level A1 from outside. A1. Set who first degree, you don't have to write the A1. You can use your degree certificate, and you can also use the something we call ECTIS, E C T I S, E C C T I S, the organization that can confirm that your uh, English language is equivalent to a degree in the UK, and that your subject was taught in uh, uh, your, this proficiency of English in uh, the language that was used, or the medium that was used to teach your degree is English. So let me put it that way. In other words, your proficiency in English. So with your degree certificate, your transcript, and the proficiency in English language, you are able to convert or you get a, a a letter to confirm that your degree is in Ghana from any of the universities, uh, you know, accredited universities in Ghana, University of Cape Coast, University of uh, uh, Ghana, University of uh, K KNUSC, uh, and all the other universities in Ghana, University of Winneville, and all those places. Once you obtain a degree from there, it is acceptable in the UK as an equivalent degree in the UK. Now, what they are saying is that they are bringing certain changes that now GCSE, if you have a GCSE, 
it is an acceptable level of proving that you qualify for the English. If you have A levels, it is also a degree. It's also a way of showing that you qualify for the English language requirement. If you have a Scottish national qualification level four and five, etc., that is also a way of proving that you meet the English language requirement. And if you have Scottish higher or advanced higher in English, it is also a way of proving that you meet the English language requirement. Now they are bringing in new ones, new routes are appendix requirement for overseas businesses. Then appendix T to minister of religion. So a person who is a minister of religion or your software of a recognized institution, a sorry, only a JTUM, I recognize, and yet. But recognized, registered with the council, uh, the, the appropriate authorities in Ghana as an approved uh, church or a religious minister, domestic appendix, domestic workers in private households. So these areas, you they are also adding them to the requirement for the English language where you have to prove that you meet the requirements of the English language before you can come to the UK. So these are very, very interesting uh, days. Uh, the laws are changing as the year is going to gradually creep into an end. We are expecting a lot more of changes. I have really uh, I saw one change yesterday, which says the government is going to undertake age assessment. Age assessment. They can assess whether you you say you are 17 years old. They can assess you, especially asylum seekers. They assess you based on some scientific proof whether you are actually 17 or you are 27. If you say you are 15, they will check whether you are 18 or 19 rather than the 14 you say you are. So these are some of the changes that are taking place. Currently, there are case laws that challenges the Home Office. You can't look at somebody's face and say he's more than 18 years. I have won a few cases based on that. Uh, why small solicitors? We won a few cases. The Home Office refused the application from Ghana. I'm going to say, yes, shut me, pane, ni mwa, or nyin sing. Uh, 18 years. Meanwhile, my papa said, we did 16 years. But home office was to say, if she had a picture, 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 we did more than 18. If you have a picture, 25. And I will see we did 16. Now, we are challenging the, 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 the home office on time uh, time and again. And we won those appeals. One thing she will be in the end, because you are 18 years, you are 20 years, you are 25 years. A, B, I, 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 and I be or brave, and if I not brave, if you are 16 years old, but if you are a crazy baby, unfortunately, ah, or age man, very hard because of that, he looks older than his actual age. That does not mean that you look at his face and then you say you are 25 years, you are 60, you are 20 years, or 28 years. It has to be scientifically based. So the Home Office is taking this one up. They are saying that they are going to conduct, they are going to be doing more scientific tests now. To check age assessments. NT, NT, sir, we are 18, we are 18, we are 16, we are 16, we are 20, we are 20, because certain changes have taken place, but mostly it has to do with Omo Omo Seke asylum, asylum seekers, and Omo Seke. And there's also another rule uh, that is changing uh, the uh, uh, the illegal uh, entrance rule, uh, the rule about, that has to do with the uh, appendix, the illegal immigration rules. And also it's coming up. We don't have much details now. We are waiting to see what they'll bring up. So quite a few interesting developments. They are uh, from one point to another, to another, to another. They take the boat to Italy, etc., to the UK. The Home Office is checking on them seriously and they want to make life more difficult. So I would say there are legitimate ways you can come to the UK. DJM said, I'll take time and discuss over again. We've discussed all those options, but I'll take time another time and discuss those options again so that people can know that there are legitimate ways of coming to the UK rather than risking your life through the desert where you might end up perishing. So these are just some updates. Uh, there are There's one topic I'd like to talk about but if DJ wants me to talk about something else, I'll be more than happy to look at it. Um, DJ, um, 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 uh, lawyer, uh, our topic be what you are so we are not many questions in that all. Me that say, me our topic be and yet too big or too long, but it's very important. Me, my friend, the pitfalls, the pitfalls 
pitfalls or traps, traps in the immigration rules, traps of documents. And take Ms. Ramu Samu Tiemia, just pay a bit of attention to these things. Or you can call it the red herring, something that are, let, are made to mislead you. They mislead you. Number one, Sawu ya application ama uba, ama naba UK. As if it's a mame, and the UK. Ah, we see Abu Pray Papa, we need to be aware. And the one who are now watching Abu Pray Papa, Abu Pray, from age zero to the time Abu Pray, maybe fifteen years, and now sixteen years, one who are now watching. Now, why your application? Said, I have sole responsibility for my child. On the basis of the sole responsibility, who did? Birth certificate and call. Pitfall number one is a birth certificate now with your corner. You have child's name, mother's name, father's name, date of birth, informant, registration, and informant. Now, informant near Nipana or the Abu Fani Koye Eco Register. One I will see, oh, mommy now work UK and we'll see Papa won't hone it up. Unyemi Yana, Papa. Or call it into any baby of a panel. Now, to say, oh, share birth certificate this way. Your business, who is the informant? He not a diabo free call your call register. Now, papa now will see only a book from the life money. The thing about informant section of a banny saying, oh, be I will see one who know a banny saying, and I or not any diabo free a call your call register. That is a huge pitfall, a huge trap. If you're not careful, you get yourself into it, your application will be refused. And the Home Office will say, we don't trust you or we, you are not honest. You claim you have no idea of where the child's father is. Meanwhile, on the birth certificate, it shows that he is the informant on the child's birth certificate. Or no idea of friend, he call your and he registered. Father session, he didn't bet me alcohol, no problem. But informant section, a honor, yeah, I can say, it's a huge trap pitfall, so you have to look at it very carefully. Another one is this: Wo mami a uwo kromha a wo she ubano wo se wo peso di ubai eba wo ni Ghana e bi a wo ni abo fani birth certificate that dano aira wo ni bi a wo enti amu sa koye a new birth certificate amu koye a new birth certificate no hina ne di abo pray ko ya wo di abo fani papa enuya. Dinga she also said, or no, any day I will free call here and a register. Why will say only I will find papa any any contact? Meanwhile, you have contact with the child's father's siblings and the child's uncle or aunties. Sir, what me she said, I will find papa. Then we are no more. Ah, if I will find it in Chenga, clearly it means there is some connection between the child and the other parents family based on that they will refuse your application it is a pitfall it is a red herring be very careful about that the next thing is this pitfall number three what what's the one that will share about free whatsapp messages are when it will be more you are talking about abu Fani papa ever in that messages Ah, Abu Fani Kraha say, I went to see my father. I went to see dad. I went to see dad. Dad gave me money. Because of the, uh, although dad gave me money, the money is not enough. So I did not in the WhatsApp chat now. Where you between my men and the banner. And I between Papa and I will come back and then the banner. I will see when the mom, but their mama will. And I will be a daddy will. Now, Se o di sa chat ni kwa o bro ni ba tu tu ni wasi no wa kind trash se e hi na daddy ana mommy e wo no wa pick it on e no wa si ah wo na wo say you have no idea where your father is your mother claims she has no idea where your father is wo so wo say you have no idea where your father is so how come you are talking about your father in your WhatsApp messages with your mother? And not that you are just asking questions about your father's or about you, but you are rather asking or saying that you have gone to see him, he has given you money, or he called you, or you visited him. That is evidence that 
you have relationship or you have contact with your parent. As long as you have some relation or some contact or uh, with that parent, the home office will say, or the caseworker of the cassette, he has got some input into your life and therefore your mother in the UK or your father in the UK does not have full or sole responsibility, your application will be refused. So that is very, very, very crucial. Another one, uh, yeah, letter from school. So school no trust I yeah never say Abu Frani Mami or Abu or London. Yes, the mother is in London and she calls and she comes to visit. But we also have the father on the record as a parent who comes to parents' meetings or PTA. Clearly, it shows that the child's father is involved in the child's life or the mother is involved in the child's life. As long as the father is involved, as long as the mother is involved, you cannot tell me, say, who are what you can handle? you make all the major decisions. By all means, the parents in Ghana also make some decisions. The facts are with this economy, and yes, it can quana, yet it share, so responsibility. We want to know who makes the major and the important life-changing decisions in a child's life. Who decides which hospital the child should go if the child is unwell? Who decides which school the child should attend? Who decides the child the, the child should attend? Who decides the day-to-day -day very crucial decisions? Not maybe the food the child eats every day. No, those ones, whoever is looking at the child can make those decisions. But the life-changing, major, essential decisions made by who? If it is the, by the one in the UK, then we can say that he or she has the sole responsibility over the child. But Antisa is a refuse. So se school no call tro bibi e fa papa na wo se won ho no ho. Ana mame na wo se won ho no ho. E ko tro se papa no kwa ya o fre, ana no kwa ya o ba. E be ye e be she e ba area school meetings. Ana bibi sa clearly it shows that the other parent is involved in the child's life. That is a huge pitfall. That is that. A letter from the hospital or the clinic. Then, so much I say, yes, we know we have this child as a patient here. The papa and any mommy and any one arrangement say any money treatment. Now, so on occasions on tiapwa, the papa cried in the eba straight away. The application will be refused because you have not proved that only you have the sole responsibility, but rather somebody else or the other parent also has responsibility over the child you have not proved well enough that you have the soul or the you are the only person who makes the major decisions the application will be refused there is one i am dealing with now right now as i speak in the office uh there is an application we are dealing with ah uh, or your application on a home office for sure who said they wanted some additional information or Nim said that nah, it was a red herring. Or Nim said it was a mis something to mislead him. And of course, documents with the FE Abu Frani Mameho Ediba Kamu and a home office for sale. Thank you very much. You have given us a reason to refuse you. When I will say Abu Frani on Tinipa Nimame and Timin Yawe, on Timin Yawe, on Timin Fiano, and I only give you a one for a bandy sign. And I to say, no, you be so well. Of course, sad documents if he. About the Nima Amen or Ediaba based on a non nonunti, more refuse the application. Sika say yerqua. So uh, that is a red, that is a huge pitfall. The biggest of the pitfalls, Nia said, said, we have application, we not home office, actually, said, Koji letter, why application am I over? No, I'm saying Koji letter, actually, I'm a friend, Papa Ho. Ah, actually, said, one home, one man who crying, said, Papa Franny, two crying. And when you have visit visa and you come and you have visit visa application, David, you are interested. I will run a for UK and I will call UK for good to settle. Could you let a penny for punching? I interested. What penis to sell? I will find it too quiet. Now, would you make when you are so yes, you have a mommy bunny visa, you remind me, you have a visa, you have a visa, and see, I'm going to say, no, I could you let a job for punching? Watch up, yes, I am the father of 
Theophilos. So, so and so, so and so, I am happy that the child can travel to join the mother in the UK. I have no reservations. This is a camera of focus. I cry. I have no reservations. I have no objections to my child traveling to leave the mother in the UK. And therefore, I give my total consent to the child to travel. That is a huge pitfall. Wouldn't I will say, oh, who I will pray, Papa? And I wouldn't I will say, I will pray, Papa, is not involved in the child's life. A ban is saying, and I fear, I hear this letter, and what would you let her Papa? You hope any other complication who said, I will find him too far. It means the father has some control in the child's life. The application will be refused. It is a huge pitfall. That is why you always have to be very very careful as to what documents are required and the documents you provide. If the documents that are needed are essential to your application, yes. If the documents that they are asking for do not help your case or it damages your case, you have to seek legal advice before you make a decision. If you wish to send it, fine, so be it. But please seek legal advice before you proceed with submissions. The fact that with me kind brafuna omar shrohono awutiasiana is different from making or interpreting the the law. The English is different from the law. That is why we have English language and we have law the law may be written in english but it is not english it is law the meaning can be different the interpretation can be totally different from what it says on the paper and see sir oh here further clarification is always better to seek legal advice these are some pitfalls that the home office can put in your way if you are not careful you send some documents which they require, those same documents will be used to refuse your application. So I've talked about school letters, I've talked about um, hospital letters, I've talked about who the child lives with, whether it is the parent in the UK's family or it is the parent in Ghana's family. That can be a determinant factor in refusing your application. Very, very important. Sometimes they ask you to provide statutory declaration so you go and swear in the court that yes this is a document that to show that i mr so and so i am the father of this child and the, the statutory declaration is very important but you have to know what sort of application you are providing that statutory declaration to support if it is a visit visa application not a problem to show that you are traveling with your children not a problem if it's a settlement application you have to be very, very careful what sort of information that you use to make your application. We have several ingredients, but if you want to make a particular type of soup, you use some type of ingredients. You don't use every ingredient for every kind of cooking. So you have to be selective, know what you need to make any application. And I can tell you, you'll be, you have a good chance of succeeding in your application if you use the right documents and you understand the law you interpret it well you apply the law to the facts i can say for sure your chances will be massive but if you just take everything and throw it in the kitchen sink just everything for them to decide they will refuse the application they will refuse the application so these are some pitfalls little little pitfalls name on the birth certificate name on the parent birth certificate name on the death certificate baptismal certificate one name is omitted another name is there they've changed the position of the name kofi yebua now it is yebua kofi those minor minor things are all pitfalls that we can use date of birth date of place of birth very very little things Bar uh, birth certificate says child was born in accra passport says child was born in kumasi all these things are all little pitfalls that can cause huge huge problems when you make this application. So, uh, DJ, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lawyer Wisdom, Akaho, Obinfu, Wiseman Solicitors. 
a uh, champion, Papa Papa. Oh, they were we taking the time away briefly, you know. Point to point, pa, pa, pa. That is my day for. <laughs> you did shape, you did shape. <laughs> okay, me who so many uh, comments. Um, so our questions be our baby son. I have a poem in the next uh, twenty seven minutes. In this our questions be our person baby son. Oh, baby, baby son. Me who say in Kofu we be the comments. Um, questions are banty. Uh, lawyer, I ain't take his hard time away in a young fan king kind a bit more kakra. Um, I mean, shout out, shout out for the people who say per questions. Um. Oh, 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 let me go down. I think the beginning you started into. I'm on for visa. Now you come about Ghana sitting on this. You send me in a according to me as I see that questions in the Okay, so let's take this one from. Um, then take it away, Jake Brooks. Hi, Jake. You arrived. Um, I arrived a year in the UK on settlement visa. What are the chances of getting a US visit visa? Oh, you don't have a problem. You just have to go online, apply for the U.S. visit visa. Uh, just make sure you have your. I mean, you are on a settlement visa. It means you are you, you are settled. You have indefinite leave to remain. That is fine. If you are working, of course, produce your your pay slips letter from employer. Your pay slips, your bank statement. If you are renting, you can use your tenancy agreement. If you have a mortgage, which is not impossible, you can add that to it. And I am sure you can get a letter from whoever is giving you the invite. You just apply and you should you should get your visa to the UK, US, provided they are persuaded that you would uh, return to the UK, US. Now, I've realized, DJ, I've noticed recently that the US visa applications, I mean, from the UK at least, from what I realized, they are being given and they are being very, very kind with visit visa applications. Previously, mm -hmm. have to have either indefinite or some long, but these days, even people on two and a half years and stuff, they are just giving them visit visas, and it's amazing. I am so so impressed. Uh, wow. when people call me to say, Oh, I have two and a half applied for you a US visa and I've been given, and it's it's so refreshing. That tells you the US visa procedure is actually working very effective another person called me to say it's like uk you are closing everything you don't want us to come to the uk anymore and i said well <laughs> it is what it is so if you have other options you explore it <laughs> dj that is what it is so yes okay, so like for mm -hmm. your first visa i am sure you will get it i'm sure you get it okay you can take it away fast fast now question sure. is this someone hi oh okay someone Good evening, lawyer. Please, after arriving on a USS visa, what do you do next? And please also, I saw an information say the Home Office stopping issuing the residence card. Well, the Home Office is not issuing residence card. They are issuing EU settlement, pre-settled pre status. Or they call it pre uh, indefinite leave or limited leave to remain. Uh, it used, formerly we used to call it residence card, but now it is called pre-settled status. So it is the same five years but it is called pre-settled status. Now, the dates are all ending on 31st of December 2024. It does not mean that your five years ends on that day. The five years continues, but the card that you are given, the card is ending on that date. But the, date, the, the, the five years still continue. All the cards are ending on that day, 31st December 2021. So they are not stopping issuing residence card they are stopping issuing the card but not the, the the leave the stay is still being issued by the card after 31st december 2024 you don't have to hold a card who are sitting at my own country on course system the reference number shema maybe the other the fact of a card you know interest when you are sitting it's just like a beer you know uk you are a British, you know, I'm a British, you are a UK or a British citizenship, but only British passport and just on your British citizen. The same way it's going to be with you. So, I'll see what do I do? Um, right, um, that question I haven't finished that question. Okay, so, okay, let's go back. Anyway, I also saw an information said that please, I really don't know what do I do now. If you have settlement, you don't have to do anything. If you have settlement, you don't have to do anything. What you have to do is wait for one year if you are under eight and. After one year, you can go for your 
uh, settle uh, citizenship, British citizenship. But if you're more than 20, more than 18 years, you wait for five years, you get your, you go for, you meet the residential requirement that you can go for your British citizenship. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Mr. Adrian, Adrian Abraham, Ibrahim, uh, if a per, if, please, if as a dependent with HND holder from Kumasi Technical University of someone coming to UK to work, please do I need to write A1 English test? Uh, you No, dependents don't write any test. It is the main applicant that has to write. You as a dependent, you don't write any test. So you don't have a problem at all. Please, if you're on sponsorship visa, can you switch to different if you have the skills and documents, example, care sponsor and a construction field? If you are on a sponsorship visa, usually you are tied to the person who issued you the sponsorship certificate. So if a care worker, the employer gives you the sponsorship certificate, you are restricted to work with that sponsor. You are tied to that sponsor. However, if for whatever reason you are not able to work with that person anymore, and you can get a sponsorship with a different company that you can move to that company. Assuming you are in the UK with a care sponsorship, and then you are an IT person, you can't do care, you don't like the job, but you have IT brand, and you can get a company that have the sponsorship license in IT and they want to give you a sponsorship certificate, you can then move from the care to IT. That is possible. Or you move to construction field if you have a sponsorship there or any other sector, if you get the sponsorship certificate, you can shift from one category to another, but make sure you get the sponsorship certificate in that field before you apply to switch. Thank you. Hello, is uh is is it compulsory to bring TB certificate along when coming to UK after after I scan it online when submit? No, you don't have to carry the certificate with you. Everything is already online. You have uploaded all the documents. Everything was scanned, sent with the application sin before the decision was made to issue you your leave to enter the UK or to give you the visa. So you don't have to carry any original document with you. Of course, your passport, you have to. If you want to carry it, that is fine, but it is not a requirement that you have to carry the physical document with you when you're coming to the UK. After all, they've already sent it, you've scanned it, they checked it, they are happy before they issued you your visa so that is fine augustine upoku abadu hi mr abadu i came to the uk eight months now with my dependent i want to divorce her is it possible to divorce her only eight months in the uk well i mean look divorce i don't subscribe to it but you can't also force anybody to remain in a relationship where they can't work it out so if for any reason at all uh, the relationship is not working out and you have done everything possible and you think it is not repairable or it is um, you cannot reconcile, yes, you can go for a divorce if you so wish. I'm not advising divorce, but if you so wish, you can. However, normally the marriage should have lasted for one year before you go for a divorce. So if you married, immediately you married and you came to the UK and the marriage is not yet one year, then you might want to wait until it is a year before you go for the divorce. However, you can annul. Annulment is there. If there is a specific reason why you think the marriage was never legal from the first start or from the scratch, then you can go for annulment. Example, example. If you thought, if you thought your wife was a woman and then you got to know that this my wife is actually a man, then you cannot continue to do with that person. You can annul that relationship. It doesn't have to be one year. It can be any time. Or if at a point you thought your partner was um, 
had some, how will I say, was was not married, was free to marry. And then you later realize that, oh, this person was already married to somebody before marrying to me again. That marriage never existed. You can annul that as well. So there is annulment is totally different from divorce. Your question is, can you divorce after eight months? Yes, you can divorce after eight months, provided the marriage has lasted for a year. You can go ahead if you so wish. JRKB, hi. My lawyer, my husband has spent four years out of his five years pre-settlement. They have given him two years automatic. Please, does it mean he will spend seven years before he gets the indefinitely to remain? No, he does not have to spend seven years. Now, what happens is this. Now, counting from the period where the UK left the EU, the UK left the EU on the 31st of December, 2020. And usually a person must be in the UK for five years before they get their settlements as a family member of an EU national. Now, some people were given two years, some people were given three years. So the Home Office is saying, look, we are now in 2023. That is three years from when we left. So we are adding two more years automatically to people to make it up to five years before they can apply for their indefinite. Otherwise, there'll be some shortfall. Now, if your husband has already done four years, all he needs is one more year. So even though they've given him two years automatic extension, he does not need to finish that. All he needs is one year on top of the four years to make it a total of five years, then he can go for his indefinite leave to remain in the UK. After that, one year, he goes for his British citizenship, provided he meets all the other requirements. Hello, Denise Abena. Uh, I'm waiting for my settlement in the UK. Will my two kids have this automatically? I need to know what category you are in. If it is EU, then yes, the children should also have this. Once you get your settlement, the children should also get their settlement alongside with you. So you apply for all of them. Uh, under the GU rules, once what the parent has is what the children will get. So if it is settlement you are going to go for, yes, your children should also get it. If you have not applied for them, then I will say you have to apply for them. But, but if the children were born in the UK and you get your settlement, then you can register them straight as British citizens. You don't need to waste money and time going for indefinite for them before coming back for the British citizenship. That is if the children were born in the UK. If they were brought from outside the UK to the UK, then they have to get their indefinite before you can apply for their citizenship for them. So I need a lot more information to be able to piece all this together for you. Hi, Emily Brown. At what age would the UK refuse to give a child settlement in the UK? It depends on the circumstances. It depends on the child circumstances. When, where, when was the child born? Where was the child born? That is one. Was the child born in the UK? Was the child brought from outside the UK? We need to know. What is the parent's status? Is the father settled? Is the mother settled? We need to know. Is he under the EU law? Is he under the UK law? We need to know. So it's a simple and a very short question, but there are a lot of things we need to know to determine whether the child will get settled. However, once the person goes past 18 years, remember they are no longer a child. They are adult. They are adult. If the person was born in the UK, lived the first 10 years of their life in the UK and then went outside the UK to stay there, they can always register as a British citizen because they were born in the UK, lived in the UK for 10 years before they left. They can always be registered as British, not indefinite, but as British citizens. So we need to know a lot more. I'm sure that will help me to uh, respond to your questions accurately. Thank you. Eric Hansom. Um, I have a foreign passport which goes to the UK without a visa. So my question uh, is, if I enter the UK, is it possible to get in Krata whilst I'm in the UK? 
Um, you have a passport which you don't need a visa to go to the UK, right? If you come to the UK, the question that is, if you don't need a visa to come to the UK, how long are you allowed to stay in the UK? Are you coming as a visitor? Is it six months? Is it three months? If it is six months or three months or whatever period it is you are allowed, once that period elapses, you have become an overstayer. You have overstayed. Then you have to find yourself in a different category, either as a spouse, as a parent, or in a private life, or some other category before you can get your, they say you have your own kind of your own character. So coming to the UK might be easy for you, but to fit into getting your own character or getting your Agbale or getting your Wulu uh, uh, or your Wumi, that depends on the category of um, the area in which we explore. We have to explore the rules and navigate it in accordance with what it says before you can get your say. So um, this is somebody I'd like to talk to. Mr. Hansom, when you come, speak to me, speak to me, and then let's uh, maybe meet in the office and I can help you to see how best we could uh, uh, go along and see solution. I will see wisdom. Hey, namesake, how are you? Can one visit any Schengen country after arriving in the UK for just two to three months? Uh, it's student or uh, and it's a student on scholarship. Well, if you have a UK visa or you have a student um, visa, not visit, but student visa on a scholarship, if you want to go to any Schengen country, you need to get a visa for that Schengen country. So if you want to go to Germany, Portugal, Spain, any of these countries, you have to apply for their visa. Once you get your visa, you can travel in and out of these countries without any problems. Dasibre or Henny Westbrook. Hello, Dasibre. My sister had a visa on sponsors' uh, visa, but it seems the company license has been revoked. One week to her departure, will she be allowed entry? Ah, that is a tough one. That is a very tough one. Um, it's she may not be allowed to enter. I'll be very honest with you. She may not be allowed to enter. So let me say it again. She may not be allowed to enter. I didn't say she will not, but she may not. Now, if the company's lancer has been revoked and the border is aware, the Home Office has notified the entry points, Heathrow, Gatwick, and all the entry points that this sponsor's license is revoked. And therefore, anybody coming to the UK as an employee of that company should not be allowed in. Then it is possible that she may not be allowed to enter the UK. If, however, this information hasn't seeped through to the bodies and the three year overdue her near Bissanifi, near Bukan Mana, and Nidia, Yamena, I don't know. So it's, but strictly speaking, once the company's silences is revoked, overdue her, which company is she going to work for? That's a question that you have to ask. But whatever decision she takes to come or not to come, that will be a pure decision of the individual. Uh, I'm applying for a dependent visa, but I'm afraid of the time. What should I do? Dependent visa, uh, on what basis? Um, are you applying to come to the UK? Yes, you can apply. We still have up until the, um, if it is the skilled worker care, there's no restrictions on them. It's only the students that there'll be restrictions from July, from January. Apart from that, I don't see why you should be afraid. Uh, you can apply and apply for the premium so that you get a quick decision rather than waiting for three months. You can apply, pay extra, get a quick decision, get in here before the uh, changes take place. UK citizens are going to file applications for parents. It is possible that there are there's provisions in the rules which say that uh, we have adult dependent relatives. You can apply for your parents to come and join you in the UK. 
Yes, the rules are there. However, the requirements are very high, very high. Now, I call it ACE, A-I-D-S, ACE. The parent must have ACE. And your area is in America. H, A stands for age. Because of their age, you know, will be any gun or with me, I fear now. I, illness. Your report if you want here, want to make any Nagana, this is over have a come home UK. D, disability, if you She suffered from a serious disability, I don't see, want to me, or no one to me, this is over come home. S, A I D S. S is support. That even with your support, Ubiyani Ganawa, Obetime, Ashena. And then, of course, you have enough accommodation for your parents. You have to, uh, you meet the financial requirements, you can, maintenance requirements, you can look at them without going for benefit, etc., etc. So, yes, the rules are there, the laws are there, but it is difficult to meet some of these requirements. If you can meet these requirements, then yes, you can apply for your parents. To come and join you in the UK. If you are a British citizen, yes, if you are British citizen, but if you are an EU national, it is easy. It is easier. I wouldn't say it's easy, it's easier compared to British citizens. EU nationals have a better chance of bringing their parents to the UK than the UK citizens. Hi, Linda Asante. I hope you're doing good. My kids want to come, but my partner does not want to come. Can you help me with the application? Yes, this application we can do. We can help you with this application, but I will not discuss the details over this medium. When you come and we sit down, then I can tell you what to do and what not to do. I cannot tell you the details of this sort of application over this medium. But when you come and we sit down, I'll ask questions and I'll give you answers. Your children should come and join you in the UK. I hope you understand me, please. Uh, it's not because I don't want to answer your question, but uh, if I answer the questions, uh, it will help you, it will help me. But when you sit down face to face, I will show you what to or what not to do british citizen as a british citizen now that we are no longer with the eu you do i need to apply for a visa to enter eu countries no you don't need to apply for visa eu nationals can come to the uk to to, to visit six months uk citizens can go to any eu country also without a visa but some countries are introducing the eta electronic system travel system thing so you just have to apply for the ETA or the ESA, whatever it is, to go to uh, those countries. But no British citizen needs a visa to go to any of these European countries. No. The same way, they don't also need a visa to come to the UK. Hello, Nana Kwesi. My wife has gotten work as a nurse, and I'm coming with her. So does it mean we can apply for citizenship? You you can apply for citizenship after some years, not immediately. You can apply for citizenship after your wife has been in the UK, worked for five years, then she will get her indefinite, so five years first, indefinite second, British citizenship third. So yes, ultimately you will get there, but not right now. Take it easy, one step at a time. You will get to the citizenship, I'm very sure, six years or so, you will, but not right now. Isaac Kwashi, hello, my brother. I've been in the UK for the past three months. I'm on tier two, on tier two. Unfortunately, my sponsor could not give me work to do. I have recently secured work in a care home, implications for my visa renewal. Well, if you have secured work in a care home, then I would advise that if they have a sponsorship license, of course, switch to the new care, then the new provider and then you'll be on your own, purely, wholly, absolutely on a new carer, on a new care provider, so that you don't have to be having license for one employer and be working for another employer. 
I would advise you, if you can get a sponsorship certificate from them, do that, switch to work with them. Uh, okay, Michelle, uh, is it Tisha, Michelle, Michelle, uh, please, if you have kids that have EU passport, but mother doesn't have leave, uh, mother doesn't have leave Ghana, but to move to UK because of language, what do I do? Um, it's not very, very clear. Are you saying the mother lives in Ghana or the mother lives with the children in the EU country, but moved to the UK because of language? All right, okay. I think the mother, the EU, the children are in their country. Let me use Italy as an example. I'm just using it. I may be wrong, but I'm just using Italy as an example. Maybe the children have Italian passports. The mother doesn't have Italian passport, but she wants to come to the UK with the children. Unfortunately, if they have not come to the UK already to register with the EU settlement scheme, then it is too late. It is too late. If they have already not come and registered before the 1st December 2020, then it is too late. You can't come now. Unless maybe they come in as students and then you come in as a mother of child students, then that is what it is. That is why we were on radio for two years, telling people, come to the UK, bring your children to the UK, register them, etc., etc. If it hasn't been done, I'm sorry, it's a bit too late right now. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, lawyer. Me want to comment on the questions from Mobisano. So most of them, so you tweeted that. Yes. So every more on on me new. Ewo your channel also so if you know what name, in fact it's a wow share is here and maybe all you new into questions if you are moving sano you treat it that the obit me I understand say me the lawyer now my best school but the obit me I understand say two person who interviews the lawyer on topic different different now okay your channel also our channel also is here and go the actual live no yeah we are almost the actual live the actual live you know. Uba hu live amene na ye. Why is man solid? Uba hu amene na ye. Topics, topics be bre. Shem bi sa sa questions now the buy and answers me now. Me mo so bi kase no bi be no e o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o the actual home video live short video was the actual live video or more live interviews i mean i have to fix the brain there's a back and forth auntie anyway uh your time in the asshole we won't say we break drop the questions you know may the lawyer know my baby to all wise man solicitors the number may the baby to screen so auntie yeah I mean, in every, every Friday's be at home run time. I mean, it was 5 30 to 7. GMT. I mean, we're Ghana. It's a Ghana time. I'm going to go to the UK. I'm going to go to the UK. I'm going to go to the Now, every Friday's be about 5 30 to 7. In time, also 7 above. Uh, oh, sorry, so I mean, to me, I'm going to answer a question now. Who to me? I follow up on my numbers and all screens, you know, so now I'm going to my office. So, Royal, for address, no to that, I want to have contact with Wiseman Solicitors. Me, that's say, DJ. Yeah, Wiseman Solicitors. Now, who come up with you, can't you? I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have a interview for you, okay? This one, they worry. You're going to you, okay? Oh, I see you. I see you. I beg. We could try. You remember UK? I live from the UK. Aha. Oh, we Oh, me pay But open one on one. One on one. You said you're born. You remember UK? I'm worried. And check. And we say UK there. UK there. Say me fee. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud. And me buy this time. Come on, I'm about three times. Other countries too yam you. Other countries too need me. Europe oh. for no, America, Canada for no, New Australia for no. Nee, manyapo uno, only manyapo uno. Anyway, 
I mean, I want to say, 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 I want it was London, Dawson Junction. Telephone numbers near 0208 0165 384. 0208 0165 384. Mobile number, no, yeah, 079 31 41 042. 079 31 41 this uh, Liverpool Street. We do Liverpool Street. Uh, as for Dalston Junction, bus 149, bus 78, bus 68, bus 149, bus 242, bus 38. All the buses come to uh, Dalston Junction. Overground train from West Croydon to Highbury and East Linton. Oversee or Dalston Junction. Overground train from Richmond to Stratford. Oversee or Dalston Kingsland. We are directly opposite the in fact, behind the McDonald's, close to the Dawson Market. Uduwa, you cannot miss us. We are right there. It's the print house. The print house. Obi Bissam say, honey, you're printing this. No, no. You see, David, and you're honey, you're printing this. No, but honey, you're here, 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 you I'm grateful, DJ. I thank you so much, sir. Uh, mm. You are there for us. You are there for all of us. We are really, really grateful to 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 all our all our people. On behalf of the people, I just want to say thank you for bringing this education to to all of us. We learn every day, and we also give out information. So mm. um, it's it's a great joy. All those areas, as you carry, those were the places I was a teacher. So, uh, <laughs> so <now> just studies. <laughs> <laughs> so, all those places, some of my kids, they listen to the program, they call me, oh, sir. I say, yeah, I mean, we're doing what we can. And so, anyone, any day, anytime you need help, just call us. We'll see how we can. But I want to know, uh, media may try SBTV Africa. I try a best say, uh, BB say, I'm on for a bit here, but warm on me. Then, yeah, my best. Like I said, uh, and I mean, I'm social media. I mean, who baby now for a moon, if anybody get it, they won't sadly win. You know, it's a because I would be SBTV Africa here. Oh, be an uncle, just came over. We've been to be in Fabi being booze. So, tell me videos. From no way to be different, different, different. Oh, my boy, oh, my, oh, my, we say, we saw me too. Come on, we a dorsal. Me will say, oh, Saturday, Aisha, Germany. Make it in Germany. Me treat it that. Yeah, can't opportunity say, oh, just show certificate. Now submit your call a German organ across my website. Schengen sites now. Make make it in Germany. Oh, submit your skill. Oh, one more skill. Submit it, okay. Who submit here? Who qualify? All the people who certificate in addition, but I'm paying for four. Travel and talk for some business. They are almost started with a boy. You know, I would say a human baby or German. It's he. How would you want to know? So people where did they follow me? You go no distance. Travel and talk. So I come boom to one of my baby. I'm on a charge. You I go to your ten thousand euros. I brought with me a four clip to printing. Who was certificated there? Just go apply, fix in there, no. The entire will move. The baby almost a, almost a. But me, me try my best. Every weekend, be here, me deba. The omo aso, omo ti. Lawyer, me da say. So we pass it through SBTV Africa. So me da want to say, I'm DJ now. Me da production team as DJ Click Sharon. And I think I'm going to share you now. A big shout out. Don't tap on the subscribe. Don't like it. Share my own baby. Uh, I don't know so much join here. We have video where I know. We drop it bangabi interview. A heavy power.
me now signing out a new team. A brand TV. Hey, that guy no was sell. It a bit of me. I'm a chucky sir. See, I say, hey, was sell or maybe ah. Yeah, drop it where we pay. So I subscribe. Open your notification. I won't tap it on. So tap it when you see the other break. This all called very videos. Her top one. But me also, I don't mind also. Me also. You need to map. I be pop it up on phone so. Won't say yeah. Won't press it so I now share. Won't alert. Me don't want to say. Eh, eh. Kwajo, eh. Tabi, thank you so much. Damien, thank you so much for watching. SCN Free Fire, thank you so much. Salomon Kwe, thank you so much for supporting SVTV Africa Always UK. K check Kwabina Frame Pong, big ups. Uh, Linda Santi, thank you so much. Uh, Prosper Blakes, uh, thank you so much. Dennis Abena, thank you so much. Wilson Delhi, Roger, thank you so much for watching, for joining us today. Samuel Ofori Atta, Mida say. Uh, Francis Mate Kole, uh, I think it's uh, Maboni Yedia. Thank you so much. Is it Francis Mate Koli? Francis Mate Koli. Okay, and I'm mate. No, I'm trying to say no. Francis Mate Koli. So I'm going to write it there. And another person, thank you so much, Teresa Eduku. Thank you so much, Jeffrey uh, Atkins. Thank you so much, Isaac Kwashi. Big ups. Uh, Tisha Michelle. Thank you so much. Uh, Eric Hansom. Thank you. Um, uh, Deborah Ohini, Ohiniwa, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Eric Hanson, okay, thank you so much. Um, uh, Maminko, uh, Holo, Holosa, uh, Holosa, Imbiko, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, 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 who else, who else, who else, who else? Dasibra Ohini, uh, Westbrook, thank you so much. Cynthia Dye, thank you so much. Um, Emily Brown. Thank you so much. Benjamin AJ. Nana Safo, thank you so much for watching. We see wisdom. Thank you so much. Uh, Kofi Daniels, big ups. Uh, JRKB, thank you so much. Abigail Lote, thank you so much. Jake Brooks, thank you so much. Daniel Agbenyaga, thank you so much. Kobe, the general. Uh, thank you so much. Asamoah, thank you so much. Ibrahim Edu, uh, thank you. Kojo Usumi, that's it. Prosper, oh, mama, shout out to that. Uh, Eshen, if we fight, thank you so much. Anthony, Akako, thank you so much. Um, uh, Edu Ibrahim, thank you so much. Uh, Faustina, Sewa, thank you so much. Mama, uh, I'm going to say, Sam Fab, thank you so much. Bosco, Mas, thank you so much. Um, Messi Asari, I'm going say, promise, I'm going say. Uh, Patrick Kujo, thank you so much. Hey, and a class, Nachi Pao. <laughs> uh, Dundee, thank you so much. Mami, big ups to you. I see DJ, good evening. Good evening to Mami. Uh, uh, Kwame Borbe, thank you so much. Official Soko TV, thank you so much. Uh, Nuruddin Musa, big shout out to you. Kwame Borbe, okay. Uh, Frank Bobby, Frank Bobby. Thank you so much. Abbas Mohamed, uh, thank you so much. Um, Musa Kabiru, thank you so much. Yusuf Amin, thank you so much. Benjamin J. Kwesi Bru, uh, Emmanuel Buama, thank you so much. So, uh, Silvanos Nuchuga, thank you so much. Thanksgiving born. Thank you so much. Madam Asi, I'm going to join you in the SVTV Africa Life. I'm going to say, I'm going to comment by I'm going to share by Madam Asi. I hope you have a good day. I'm going to next week. I'm going to share wisdom. I'm going to share with you. Aisha, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you next week, Thursday. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. Join me. Subscribe. Share your videos. Like and invite your friends. I'm going to join you. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. One more gun, I have a boy who are going to say, Boy, when him say, Utia man for story, say, Boy, number one show, Unyan will be a almost a movie be almost started there photocopy. But watch out, new segment, a check. Usha Mokroma, Cassa Tua, no majesty to two. A better man, Tunte Tua. Oh, hello. People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, 
do you know that tap tap send is live in texas oh you didn't know we went to new york now we are live in texas so people in texas and around all you have to do is to download tap tap send yes tap tap send has become the most unique secure and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere okay so download tap tap sign on google play store or app store and when you're in texas or around you just have to put in the code txgh what did i say txgh and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make <laughs> texas you drew huh? very soon we'll conquer everywhere <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. fast. <laughs>